Are we live? Are we live? <laughs> we are. We are. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. 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 At uh, welcome to another edition of an eternity of basketball, uh, an old line by Joe Cantada, uh, made famous by the late Joe Cantada. I'm Sid Ventura, and as always, I'm joined by Attorney Charlie Cuna and uh, Noel Zarate. Napatsinyo, lahat kami nakamaroon ngayon, ano? and uh, may daylan for that. I'm very excited for the guest we have tonight for our 15th episode. I watch this guy practice uh, all the time back in the CHK gym when I was in high school. And uh, that's why I'm wearing this very special jersey tonight. Kanya ba yan? You know? Hindi. Akin to. Sa UPBL to. Okay. So one-time UAP champion, two-time PBA champion, seven-time uh, PBA all-star, many-time member of the national team. Please welcome Mr. Ronnie Magsano. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you for uh, inviting Hey, coach. Welcome right. aboard. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, attorney. So, Coach, uh, how is uh, the quarantine? How's the quarantine being treating you? Uh, well, I know. Uh, all I can say is that um, we're trying to be a part of the solution and not adding on to the problem anymore. Of course, just by staying home, it's our way of helping them. You don't know what's out there. At saka, hindi mo rin naman alam kung ano yung pwede mong madana kung saka sakali. So, uh, we're trying to make the best out of uh, what we have in terms of family time and, of course, uh, clearing her mind and the uh, Resetting your priorities and, of course, uh, making sure that um, you are all ready in terms of uh, fitness uh, when it all opens up uh, on Monday. All right. Well, it's good to hear you're doing well, Coach. Uh, yeah, itong yeah. Sa, I, I turn into basketball, of course, we uh, we guessed uh, the stars of the PBA, you know, Philippine basketball in the 80s and 90s. And you straddled both uh, both uh, decades, no? Uh, starting, let's start with your... Ano, with your days in San Beda High School where uh, you grew up under the tutelage of uh, Coach Ato Badolato and you, you won uh, some NCAA Juniors titles there. How was it to play under Coach Ato? Uh, nung nasa San Beda kasi ako, ang pangarap lang ng mga students and of course aside from finishing uh, their studies is to be a part of uh, the school team so be it any sport na mayroon. So, kasi dati talagang yan suot yung mga suot mong uniform gustong gustong <laughs> <laughs> so, gustong gusto ko talaga. Simple yung pangarap lang kami noon. At saka dati, pag uh, involved sa sports, parang, parang outsider ka. So, mm-hmm. lahat ng pwede namin laruin, lahat ng pwede namin patukin, ginagawa namin bilang mga, mga grade school students. But eventually, during that time, big na si Coach Ato sa San Beda pa lang. Of course, football was also huge. Um, track and field. Those were the three biggest sports ng bata ko. Oh, goes without saying na lahat naman ng mga ibang sports, swimming, volleyball, nandoon lahat. Softball, baseball, na pwede mong laruin. Lahat ng may bola, lahat ng uh, posibleng uh, uh, lugar na mayroon sa tabi ng campus, nilalaro namin yon. So, makita ko lang nagpa-practice yung, yung mga teams. Lahat yung gusto ko yung uniform kasi gustong gusto ko talaga yung red and white. Ay, hindi ako kita ni Ato. <laughs> Kaya ako napunta sa bad ko Hindi ako pinawa ni Coach Ato Kasi sobrang liit ko nun Very small for my age When I tried out So few days after May nakita ako nag- nagpapatry out It was volleyball Nandun ako nagtry out Sabi ko ano ba yan volleyball Kung May uniform ba yan Meron try out ako So yun dun ako nagsimula Tapos the year after Nakuha na ako sa school team ng basketball when I was in grade 2. Yeah. Grade 4. Grade 4. Grade 4. Yes. No, grade 4 pala. Yeah. You can say na grade 4 ka nag-umpisa ng take to take uh, to basketball seriously, coach. Ah, nung nakikita ko pa lang sila Atoy ko, sila sila Abed Gidaben sa Bernie Fabiosa, I took basketball seriously. Kasi, ah, so <laughs> Chris pa pala kayo. <laughs> Oo, oh, Chris pa ako. Pero, hindi rin ang pang Kaila Coach Sunny, kaila Francis Sanais, kaila Don Ramon. Kasi pag natalo ka ng Sunday, lunes, alas kado ka. <laughs> so yun yung mga kakala na talagang 
Kumbaga, hindi it's not emulating dahil napakalayo naman kundi yung gagayahin namin yung galaw, yung mm-hmm. Jorge, Jorge, you pass to Fernandez, Fernandez, back pass to Arnaiz. Taken away by Fabiosa, 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 Fabiosa. Fabiosa. Sportscaster na kagad. <laughs> Oo nga. Ganun kami, hindi naman kami marunong pa. Siguro mabilis lang tumakbo. Pero sila yung mga biggest influences sa uh, akin sa paglalaro personally. Sa lagi kong ini-imagine yung 3, 2, 1, tapos ititira mo. After ko, fighters, after ko, makes it. Yay, Chris Pawin. Si mga ganun. So, yeah. yun, 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 yun lang ang gusto kong gawin dati. Uh, pag binibilan ako na nanay ko ng mga hindi totoong up and down na Chris. Patuwan-tuwa na ako noon. Yun nga lang. Yun lang. Tatay ko ng bola na tatlong araw sira na masaya-masaya na ako. So, ganun lang kasi yung sa akin. They were my childhood uh, heroes at saka the TV was a big part of our live sa uh, San Beda dahil ano yan, after ng pag-uusapan yung mga klase, yung mga teachers, yun na pag-uusapan. Anong laban mamaya? At talo ba? Si, 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 si Cisco Oliver ba? Magaling? Si Talari Pounds ba? O at sila bang first five na Chris pa? Diba yung mga ganun? Cisco Oliver, no? si Talari Pounds <laughs> Okay. 8215573 yung student number ko so wag tayong magkadadagdag. Kami pa tayo pupunta diyan. Dito muna tayo sa sa San Beda. Um coach when you were starting out, when did you realize that uh, you could do special things on the court and you could be a special asset sa inyong Red Cubs? Sa San Beda? Hmm. Uh, Nag-nagmaket naman ako sa San Beda kasi siguro I was already second year high school. Kasi yung, yung, yung initially from grade 4 onwards, mga ano yun eh, aspirants, midget, sorry, midget yung pinakamalimit. Tapos, aspirants, tapos, na tinatawag yun na juniors, pero hindi pa yun yung NCA. Pero pag napunta ka ron, medyo more or less, uh, a year after, may chance ka. Dahil hmm. nakapila ka sa mga graduating students eh, kasi yun yung program na ginawa ni Coach Ato na every time. Siguro yung dami ng bilang nang graduate yung dami ng bilang na recruitment. And at that time, yung puro homegrown naman yung, no, yung, yung gulong ng recruitment ng uh, San Beda Red Cast. When did I realize? Actually, hindi ko naman na-realize. Um, the reason why sports was very important sa aming magkakapatid sa aming pamilya kasi yun ang paraan namin para makapag-aral. So, actually, hindi lang single sport. That at that time kasi hindi full scholarship ang isang sport. So, you had to get into multiple sports para mas matash yung scholarship mo. But anyway, uh, never did I realize na I was special or what. All I wanted was to be able to take my exams, uh, play against Lasal, Ateneo, join my teammates kasi parang sila yung second family ko outside of uh, my primary family. So, ganun lang. Saka, importante sa akin nga, meron akong uniform at saka nagagaya ko nga sila atoy ko, sila Cyrus Man, sila Kofiets. Masaya-masaya na kami lang dahil the moment mag-rain yung bell, tatakbo na kami sa mga court. Tapos, ay na yan. Pila na kami sa paglalaro, tapos gagayahin na namin sila. So, yeah, initially it was just to to be able to study uh, using basketball and of course uh, track and field, football, uh, kung ano yung pwede namin mapaglaro magkapatid para makakuha kami ng scholarship. But special, I, I did not find myself near special uh, during high school, even during college. Siguro nang nakapag-national team na, doon na lang talaga parang naisip ko na parang meron akong chances sa buhay. Ah. Parang, parang, eh. <laughs> Baka pwede. Baka pwede na ako kapag ano. Pwede ako makapag-taxi pa minsan-minsan. <laughs> Coach, nung, ano, nung nasa high school, you know, the San, San Beda High School program has really been known as a basketball factory, you know, uh, 80s, 90s. I mean, a lot of the guys who excelled in college came from there, whether nagtumuloy sa Beda or sa ibang schools. Ano? Sino yung, yung mga kasabay mo nung high school na yun na kahit pa paano isumikat din noong umangat kayo sa seniors? Yung huling taon ko sa juniors, mabigat-bigat. Yeah. Si Gindo Pumarin, nandoon si Jerry Esplana, nandoon si Maki De Hoya, nandoon yung, yung patpatin ng kalbo na ngayon, Venancio Paras Jr. Uh, <laughs> uh, medyo magaling yun, eh, no? 
me, me chamba, me chamba. Tapos, oh, uh, yan. Ito ba yan, Coach? Ito pa kami magagaling na tito. Oh, no? Ay, ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Coach, uh, ito, yan. Mark Manios ka nandyan. And uh, these were established high school players. We could have started uh, anytime. Kaya lang seniors kami. Si, si at, Loy ko, si Coach. Coach, Coach, si Loy Coach nakita, nakita niya yung senior kong photo here. May, may line up dito. Eh. Do you see it on your screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, Ayan, I, I, so, I picture with me. Kneeling, left to right. This is Dindo Pumarin. <laughs> yep, to the left. Jer- Jerry Esplana. Correct. Eric coach, Altamir, yeah, course. Coach E, then Kayo. Dong Verger. Yeah. And yeah. then... Boxon. That's Minoy Hopton. Oh, the son of the legendary, a legendary ball player in San Beda. Uh, ah, year okay. There. And then to the top of Minoy, that's Raul Buencamino, also part of the Buencamino brothers na inclined sports mm-hmm. uh, athlete. Okay. Uh, ano rin yan, mga standouts din sa San Beda. Of course, yeah, Tori Miloy Cosico. Uh, and of course, uh, Belancho Jr. Yes. And, um, Ilang taong si Benji dito, Coach? Uh, only 12, 13. 13, 13 so, pa lang siya dyan. Kaling niya sa Sacred Grab. Heart. Ano, no. Kaya ganyan ang katawan niya, kumain ng hotdog. Ito ang paborito. Hindi, kaya ganyan lang yung katawan ni Benji noon. Nasa track na rin siya. Teammate ko rin sa track and field. Ah, so, okay. okay. Sa shot put. Mm-hmm. throwing events. So freshman lang siya dito no kasi senior na kayo dito eh. So yeah. 3 years so, the difference niya no. Isa kwento lang diyan kay paring Benji. Kinuha lang niya yung ano, yung yung shot put. Binato lang niya. <laughs> Gold. Yung yung lang pala pala wala biro. Kinuha niya binato niya. <laughs> Gold. Gold medal is on. Kaya lang kalbo. Anyway to the left of Benji na to. Maki de Hoya. Maki de Hoya. And uh, Herbert Princess Lau na naging teammate. Uh, yeah. Nag-UP rin to. Yes. Oh, si, Ebet. si Maki. Sa, si Maki ta kasi Ebet magkasama sa LA yan. Um, in, this, in this recent years na nag-migrate sila. And then the late uh, Momoy Rosal. And uh, Almeda. Ronald Almeda. Abogado rin ito. Okay. And Mark Manyoska. Yung si Mark Manyoska, yung inakala ko talaga na mag-TBA. Kasi ang range niyan ay parang si Steph Curry, mga bata pa kami. Mm. Wala pang 3 points. Wala pang 3 points nun. Tapos na half court nun, tumitira na yan. And of course, uh, our uh, most admired coach, si Coach Hato. Yung hindi kumuha sa akin nung unang tryout ko. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sammy. Okay. So, marami dito nag-PBA, no? Half of the team, ano, I guess. Uh, I, I think so. I think so. And uh, yeah. Sino ba lang makapagsas? Panahon yan. Uh, Maki, uh, Eric, uh, Dindo, Romney, oh, uh, Apat, Paras, uh, Lima, Benji, Lima. Benji, 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 oh, Benji, Jerry Esplana. Ayun, Jerry Esplana. Anim, anim, actually. Diba? Yung oh, halos buong front row, oh, pumarin, uh, Esplana, oh, ang Camilano. Oo. Oh, Diba? Magsanok, De Hoya, Paras. Oh. By, by the way, itong photo na to Coach Tinwit ni ng, ni kung paano, ni paring uh, Pong Ducanes sa several months ago. <laughs> Sinerch ko eh, yung kaagad ang lumabas eh. So, <laughs> I don't know kung saan niya nakalungkat ito. No, sa quadrangle lang ano yan, San Beda, dahil ngayon iba na yung campus ng San Beda. Ito yung pagkapasok mo ng parking. Diretso ka. Eh, dati, automatic yan. Pag maliit ka, sa harap ka, luhod ka. Pag mga 5-10 pataas ka, sa likod ka, diretso tindig mo, kita shorts mo. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi masakit na tuhod yan. Eh. Subukan mo lumuhod. Oo nga, oo nga. masakit nga. <laughs> anyway, sige, I'll, uh, I'll ilang, ilang, ilang championships ang nakuha niyo sa juniors dito, coach? In this, uh, with, uh, with that team? With this team, just one. Just one, but before that? The, the, the previous team, uh, another one. So normally kasi, kung hindi ka naman talagang excellent yung galing mo, you make it to the NCA by your third year. And uh, minsan by your fourth year. Pero yung iba na talagang sobrang urusay, 
second year high school pa lamang nakukuha na. So, pero rare occasions. So, pero merong mga ganun. Alam ko si si Dindo ganun eh nakuha na. Or second year nasa intersecondary ka na which is mm-hmm. a second sem competition. Kumbaga, tapos na yung NC, sunod yung intersecondary. Sinasama na ni Ato yung mga incoming NCAA um, players. Tapos binibigyan na ng chance. Talaga may Ito. sistema na, ano? Oo, oh, oh, hindi naman namin alam eh. Ang alam lang namin, may uniform kami sa kasasama ko sa pitch. <laughs> Dagdag uniform yun. Saka maganda yun. Del Alan Dale yun eh. Oh. Alan Dale, tama. Very tama. popular brand. That's right. Oh. Time. Coach, bakit kayo hindi nag-stay with the Red Lions? Bakit kayo tumawid ng Maroons? Uh, ang basic reason nun... O oh, parots oh, pala, parots pala. Sorry, parots pala nung time na yun. Sorry. Jacket pa ako no. <laughs> talaga no, ang pangarap ko talaga dati dahil hindi naman ako, hindi ko talaga uh, akala ay makakarating ako ng malayo-layo sa basketball. Ang pangarap ko talaga ay maging doktor. Yun talaga ang, ang ang talagang nasa nasa back of my mind. In fact, one of the main reasons why ang course ko sa UP initially was physical therapy dahil Nung ako'y graduating, naglalaro ako sa Red Cubs, nagkaroon ako ng tendinitis sa tuhod when I was being treated sa Cardinal Santos. Isa sa mga pasyente na nakatabi ko ay si, si Idol Bog sa Dornado. So habang tinitreat ako dun sa isang cubicle, narinig ko dun sa kabila. Nakita ko siya eh. Siyempre, Chris pa ako eh, di ba? So after ng treatment niya, kakausapin ko yung mga nagtitreat, kakausapin ko yung mga nagtitreat sa akin. Tatanin ko, ano ba yung course nyo? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung ginawa nyo para maging ganito? Sabi nila, sila yung first batch ng PT, which was uh, physical therapy. Sabi nila, maganda to kasi hindi ka doktor, pero para kang doktor. You treat patients uh, based on the specialization na inaral mo at uh, nakaputi. Gusto ko yun, nakaputi eh. <laughs> oh, tas naka-uniform sila. So, uh, more than fascination, parang nabigyan ako ng idea. Kasi wala pa lamang NCE noon, wala pa lamang course na kukuni. Kahit hindi ko rin naman alam na makakapunta ako sa UP. But medicine was not a course that was available in San Beda during that time. My initial uh, wish list in terms of school, UST. Okay. USD tal. Uh, mm-hmm. Kasi sa sa sampu o labing dalawa ko ay magbabarkada. Walo napunta sa USD. Ako rin sana doon ako mag-aaral kasi nag-qualify naman. Kaya lang nung ko'y lumapit para magtanong sana ng try out kasi kailangan ko nga yung scholarship. Um, hindi ako nabigyan ng chance ang makapag-try out because at that time sila Pedro Harencio yan, sila Benji Gutierrez. Oh, yeah. Oo, oh, so talagang super team yan. Yeah. Impact takot kami sa kanila dati. So, uh, it was a huge setback during that time. So anyway, so yun yung unang dahilan. Pangalawa, I think that was also the time that uh, there was some suspension that happened sa NCA because of some fighting between schools. So, inabot ko rin yun. Pero ang, ang talagang number one sa akin is gusto ko sanang mag yun sana talaga yung ambition ko. Hindi ko naman alam magiging doktor ko ng basketball. <laughs> so, <laughs> doctor. I, I really tried. I really tried it back in my first two years before ilipat yung uh, School of Al- Allied Medical uh, Professions uh, from UP mm. Diliman to UP Manila. I, I, right. I was into physical therapy in my first two years sa UP with, with that uh, dream really na kakayanin ko. Eh hindi ko naman alam. Ang dami palang mathematics at science nun eh. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko alam eh. So eventually, nahirapan akong pagsabihin yung basketball at uh, pag-aaral. Nakakatulugan ko yung pag-aaral dahil mm-hmm. bilis nung ano yan, bilis nung pace ng Math 17, sobra eh. <laughs> Tell me about it. So, wow. Hindi ako nag-17 eh, hanggang 11 lang. 11 lang din ako eh. Kaya ako lang naipasa nung hiniwalay ko na. Ginawa akong Math 11 at Math 14. Math 14, ako, uh... may chemistry pa, may physics pa. <laughs> uh-huh. Eh kung hindi nga sa EDSA Revolution eh, baka hindi ko napasa yung mga ibang subjects oh. uh, mas <laughs> promo mas, mas promotion mas promo pa yun eh uh, uh, meron akong chem, chem subject noon but then nung natapos ko yung chem 16 may chem 31 at may math 50 
Naku just ko. Para hindi ko Pero ako mga teammates na nag-overstay eh. So sabi ko, uh, kasi ang advice sa akin sa ng mga student assistants was to shift to a different course. Kasi no nakita nila yung nagtanong ako eh, nagkonsulta ako. Sabi ko, ano ba yung course na merong merong parang itong course ko pero walang math. So binigyan ako, ito occupational therapy. Oh, sabi ko, ang daming math eh. Dinalap sa public health. Sabi ko, hindi ko rin kakayanin yan. Sabi ko, parang baka hindi ako makatapos. Kasi seven years lamang yung stay sa ano eh, sa UP. UP, ah. Uh, MRR. Maximum so, residency. Oh. Binigyan ako ng econ. Sabi ko, <laughs> Naku. Ah. <laughs> sabi kasi sa akin, bagay ka sa econ. Sa binasa ko, sabi ko, hindi ako bagay sa econ. Dinal <laughs> ako sa polisay. Okay na sana ako sa polisay. Eh kaya lang, meron, meron ding higher math sa uh, isang higher science eh. Zoo na naman yan. Sabi ko talaga. Nangako lang ko sa tatay at nanay ko natatapusin ko yung pag-aaral ko. Pero sabi ko, nagdadalawang isip na ako na sa'yo. Parang hindi ko pa kaya ni maging doktor kung naglalaro ako. Kasi nga, 6 to 8 ang practice namin sa UP. Nakaka-uwi ako, past 9 na, mag-aaral ako. Nakakatulog ako yung pag-aaral. Tapos may 7 a.m. class ako ng Spanish. So, nahirapan ako talaga. So, ang gets tayo. At uh, ito na nga lang ang kunin mong course. Yan, ang math niyan, isa lang. Ang chemistry niyan, isa lang. Tapos, pwede mong gawing pre-med yan kung kakayanin mo. Tapos, pili ka lang ng mga general subjects. Kaya lang, mabigat ang research niyan. At saka yung... Uh, Tingnan mo kung kilala mo yung mga philosophers. Eh, ano naman ang mali ko sa philosophy. <laughs> But I had to make a quick decision kasi nga, alam mo naman yung pila sa mga subjects uh, sa UK. Yeah, yeah. So, I ended up, I ended up uh, finishing the course eventually. Uh, eh, ano naman, awa ng Diyos, nakatulong naman hanggang sa buhay ko ngayon in terms of logical thinking dahil initially, nung patapos na ako, hindi ko naman nakalain mak- makukuha ako sa national team. I tried applying for a job in San Beda in the UP. And I was already in line to be a teacher, a theologist sa San Beda at logic sana sa UP. Ganun lang naman ka, hmm. ka-simple yung tingin kong kaya kong gawin noon until I was given the chance to represent the country in 1986. Yung kung nga naisip, saan ko, paano may chance ako? At nababa ko na nga na. <laughs> Kasi ito, hindi, ang, ang paniniwala ko talaga, sila Atoy ko, sila Juan Fernandez, sila Coach Sani, we're there forever. Wala naman akong alam na rotation of players na, na cycle eh. ba diba? Until nung 86 na, na nakuha kami, tapos nakalaro namin sila, doon ko na-realize na, na kaya, kaya mo palang, kaya mo pala na, na tumapak sa court kasabay nila. Kasi sa akin talaga, makita ko lang sila buo na yung taon ko, hindi yung araw. Buo. <laughs> Naka-jeep ako, nakikita ko sila sa kotse. Ay, kinabukasan, kinabukasan, parang kamag-anak ko na sila pag kinakwento ko sa mga kaklase. Nakita ko si Ato. Nakita ko naka-celeste, gumanon yung buo ko, nakatabi ng jeep. Ako <laughs> <laughs> si Rudy Soriano, si Freddy Hobalde, si Hamid Gidabi. Sobrang saya ko. Makita ko lang si Baby Dalupa. Magpapa-autograph ako dyan. <laughs> Eh hey coach, pero mabalik lang tayo sa yung pag-recruit mo sa sa UP no. Yung time na yon, meron ng parang tinatawag na San Beda connection yung uh, UP and San Beda before you. Yes, dahil uh, kila Joey Mendoza, kila, yeah. kila Mendoza. Pero kami yeah. ni Eric, Coach Ed. Inimbita kami ni Coach Joe after the NCAA na hmm. pumunta para masilip. So, pumunta kami uh gagawa lang ng ng gym doon sa may HK. Yeah. Hmm, yes. So pumunta Ay, kami, yung tama. Uh-huh. tinilip niya kami, naligaw-ligaw pa nga ako, nagpunta ako lang sa lumang gym, dahil hindi ko talaga alam, first time ko nagpunta sa gym. Uh, sinilip niya kami, tapos nung nakita niya kami, sabi niya, sige, kumuha kayo ng upcut, tapos tignan natin kung ano yung mangyayari, tapos uh, kukontakin namin kayo. Titignan namin kung papasok mm-hmm. ba kayo sa bahas, hindi ko naman alam kung ano dati yun mm-hmm. by that time, or through upcut. So, until yun, tumakbo yung mga buwan hanggat sa eventually uh, 
nakabalik kami rin sa UP para um, mag-try out ulit, kung yun ang tawag, at uh, makipag-ensayo dun sa incoming na, na team. May, may, may kwento kasi si Coach Ricky Dandan sa akin eh, when... Nauna siya ng two years ata sa inyo, no? Sa, sa UP. Parang seven. <laughs> seven ba? Seven. Seven, seven lang? Seven, seven lang? <laughs> Sige mga karating. Mabayit okay, ka. <laughs> sabi niya, uh, second year niya yata, no? sabi daw ni Coach Joe sa kanya, halika Ricky, samahan mo ako. Papanurin natin yung mga re-recruiting natin. Tapos I think he... he ano, he was the coach Joe brought him to a San Beda game. Tapos tinuro nga kayo ni Coach Eric. Ang pumasok daw sa utak ni Coach Ricky. Ako paano to? Ikapwesto ko tong mga to. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ano ba? Ano man nangyari sa akin? <laughs> kasi I think point guard yata siya before you guys came along and then oh, kasi you're you, to be a small forward. Yun yung generation na maraming malaki pa yung mga big guards, eh, di ba? Kasi ate ate ko sa big guards sila. Mm. Ang Guzman Brothers, Mike Mukesh Advani, marami, marami. Leo Isaac. So, yeah. oh. ano pa yan? Maraming, maraming big guards during that time. Si Coach, si Coach Ricky, si Karix, the big guard. Yeah, he was forced to play big kasi pumasok kayong dalawa na, na point guard. So. <laughs> Pero for a while daw, kinabahan siya. Baka rin matanggal siya sa team eh, kasi nakita niya kung gano'ng kayong kagaling. So, niisip niyo, wala na akong atang pwesto ah, next season ah. Pero turns out, ginawa siya ng ano, ibang So anyway, paano you, how was the rookie year? You went all the way to the finals. Uh, ano, uh, Diamond Jubilee ng UP, but uh, kinapos lang against, I think, FEU by, by one point. What were your memories of that season, yung rookie year? Uh, uh, quite a long time ago, but all I know that ano, initially, puro talo kami. It was hard for us kasi sa San Beda, mahirap natatalo dati yung sa Red Cubs. Actually, pag natalo ko ron, parang, <clears throat> parang malaking failure talaga kasi may winning program. Eh. So, yung mga umpisang mga laro sa UAP, puro talo kami. Alam ko, puro losing, may losing streak kami na mahaba. Eh. Bago kami nakabawi, nakabangon, tapos uh, eventually, ended up in the finals. Uh, <clears throat> let me put it this way. Ibigyan ko lang kayo ng idea ko sino yung mga nakalaro namin. Coach Louis Alas and Platon of Adamson, Adamson. na sobrang kagaling. Uh, Boy C. Samar, Entona, mm-hmm. George Elia, mm-hmm. Alan Kaidik, UE. Mm-hmm. UE pa lang yun. <laughs> UE, Benji Gutierrez, Pidoja Rencio, Nonong Espino, Illustre, Jean Illustre, and then you talk about, of course, uh, the team of uh, FAU, Glenn Capasio, Roman Itoroa, Bay Padilla, Jack Tanuan. Wala pa, sorry, sorry, wala pa pala si Jack Tanuan. Wala so, pa. Huh? Ito yung bago kami dumating sa, sa UAP, nababasa ko na sila eh. Nababasa ko na sila. So, at saka yung mga muscle nila noon, guhit-guhit na. So, I think ang vivid memory ko nun, parang we were we were really quite lucky na makalusot all the way dun sa finals. When, when you play in the finals, anything can happen. So we had our chances. Uh, we just came up short. And, uh, but dun ko rin na-realize na kaya namin makalaro yung mga, may mga national players na roon eh. So, and yeah. hindi mo kasi malalaman yun hanggat makasama mo sila sa court at you compete against them in a crucial, in, in a critical situation. So, yun lang. Uh, na we had our chances to win. Pero yung yung Diamond Jubilee, yung hindi pagkapanalo nung UP ng matagal na matagal, those were just whispers uh, around the campus that uh, hindi pa namin na embrace masyado kasi bagito pa nga kami. Uh, bago kami sa campus, may culture shock pa kami. No? Dahil ito yung baba mo ng floor, merong makibaka, wag matakot. <laughs> so yun, 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 yun yung those were things that I, I remember of course I've been at early finals tinalo ko natin if they get oh further na, as, as, your, as your UP career basketball career went on siyempre dami experiences marami na rin pumasok 
during your career there na eventually makakalaban mo sa PBA. Pero, I don't know, do we fast forward already to the year, guys? 86? Yeah. Oh, naman, oh, naman. Oh, diba? <laughs> so, so, nung pumasok na 86, di ba? Pumasok na si PNJ sa inyo, di ba? All of a sudden, UP becomes a contender. Gano'ng kabigat talaga ang entry? At saka, did everybody put UP? Now, with UP, you have a target on your back because of Paras. Uh, I think si Benji was uh, literally the biggest biggest player of high school. Uh, yes. Not just a year before 86, but in the landscape, uh, in spite of the fact that yung team nila Joey Santa Maria, nila Joey Guanyo were able to defeat San Beda in the final year of Benji. MBL. So, <laughs> oh, oh, sa isang competition. So anyway, uh, marami kumukuha kay Benji. Eh. Marami kumukuha talaga dahil sino ba naman ang hindi kukuha kay Benji? Saka naman nakita ng 6-3 na <clears throat> na hindi pa uso yung film noon. May film ang blood si Benji. Johnson ng middle name. Uh, at uh, talagang iba talaga yung lakas niya nakita ko yon maliban din sa shot put nakita ko pag tumalon walang buwelo grabe at saka nagbibuild na siya ng katawan so anyway yung walang naging sentrong ganyan ng UP in my many years mm. meaning ay, ay talagang ay, ay national player the, the very first moment makita mo alam mo malayo yung mararating kasi <clears throat> yung lakas ni Benji hindi pang karaniwan eh hindi talaga pangkaraniwan. Talagang, hindi mo naman pwedeng sabihing freak of nature, pero he's a physical specimen na pag nakasama mo, alam mo na may laban kayo maski saan. And I had the chance to play with him uh, a lot of games, maski isang taon lang, pero iba-ibang tournaments yung sinalian namin. Nakita ko yung progression. At maski nasa mm-hmm. UP na ako, nanonood ako, bumabalik ako sa Sandeda, nakikipractice ako, nanonood ako sa kanila. I kept my close relationship doon sa team because talagang ang dugo ko talaga pula, pula at puti. Kasi yun na nagpaaral sa akin in grade school and in high school. So, saka malaki yung utang na loob ka talaga doon. So, uh, <clears throat> nung uh, nanonood ako, naging sayo ko doon, kinakausap namin si Benji kung gusto mong pumunta sa UP, nagkakasama <laughs> tayo rito. Uh, pero, siguro hindi alam nung marami, na si Eric Reyes, si Maki De Hoya, Jerry Esplana, Joey Santa Maria, who have played with us also for UP. Mm. Uh, they were also along that line in terms of recruitment, but eventually they decided to go to a different direction. Anyway, going back to Benji. Kung wala si Benji, I don't think na nakarating ng malayo ang UP. Kung wala si Benji, I don't think that we would have survived that year given yung mga sobrang bibigat ng mga kalibre ng mga kalaban at mga big men ng mga ibang schools. Uh-huh. I, <clears throat> si Benji gave us something we have not seen and something that probably UP has not seen. Uh, dahil ngayon kasi yung, yung bigs are provided by the field foreign students, eh, diba? Yeah. This was a local. Uh, Tega Santol, eh. Naglalakad, nag jeep eh. So, siya, siya, talaga, siya, siya talaga yung punot dulo kung bakit uh, nakarating ang UP sa finals muli after nung first year namin at we were able to go all the way. Si Benji ang talagang, kumbaga, destiny. Destiny na, again, I've said this again and again, masa, napakaswerte ko na lagi ko natatiming na nakakasama ko si, si Benji sa isang team dahil tuwing nakakasama ko siya, good things happen and we always are, are able to get to the mountain well, he was known as the tower of power no in so the PBA. Talaga, oh yes mm-hmm. very very kumbaga very clear yung dominance niya as a big man but that wasn't a team na well, it was by far not a one man team ha? kasi nga andun kayo and there was a great supporting cast also Joey Guanyo also came in that year oh, yes and all Both of that but, power forward no Oh. Forward, well, forward. Oh. Wala pa kasing ganun dating description eh. Right, right. Oh, oh, guard, forward, center lang. Pag maliit ka, guard. Mm-hmm. Pag malaki ka, center. That's right. Pag may twinner ka, forward. Pag may tira ka, shooter. shooter. <laughs> Pero si Benji, ano talaga? Iba, one of a kind talaga. Yeah, yeah. Pero kamusta coach yung ano nyo? Yung, yung the, the team, what was the, I mean, as, as uh, the season went on and you were winning games, how was the the chemistry among the team? How was the camaraderie? Diba? I mean, you were led by Coach Joe. Sila yeah. Boy Reno, kasama niyo sila Boy Reno doon. Diba? I mean, yes. You know, kamusta yung ano? 
ganito kasi yan. In, nung palang 1983 na naglaro kami ni Eric at saka itong mga ibang teammates ko, uh, there was uh, PABL. So, naglalaro na rin kami sa commercial things. We did it to to finance, of course, yung aming paggasto sa pag-aaral. Dahil kayo yung pinaman, academic scholarship lang. So, wala pa yung, yung ganitong buhos ng tulong. So, we were playing for two teams, three teams at the most pag national player ka. So, <clears throat> it was difficult at times kasi napakahirap talaga. Siguro kayo, alam nyo yan. Napakahirap talaga mag-aral sa UP, lalong-lalo na hindi ka naman katalinuhan. Sorry talaga. <laughs> <laughs> Napakahirap mag-survive. So, nandun na ako sa time noon na talagang yung yung struggle ko was first to try to maintain a a passing line at the same time help the team. It was hard. Maski na nanalo kami noon, maski we had Benji. Uh, Benji was really good but still raw. Uh, at saka, syempre, yung mga iba... Uh, mas malalakas pa, mas mamak na eh. Uh, but again, ano yun eh, yung mga bagay-bagay na sa loob ng isang championship, may mga laging nangyayari na papabor sa'yo na yung circumstances, yung yung draw, papabor sa'yo. And I think it also helped us in terms of timing, in terms of um, in terms, I won't say destiny dahil parang hindi naman fair sa ibang teams. Yung, yung timing na Uh, pumanik para sa UP para makarating all the way against UE na UE in the 80s my goodness kung saan mo UE UST talagang mawiwiwi ka dahil ang gagaling ng mga players sa uh, hindi bihirang bihirang hindi na nanalo pag nakarating sa dulo isama mo na dyan ang FBU oh, yung FBU nga gusto kong puntahan yung game na yun sa semifinals that was a game that UP should not have won but UP won uh, in the, balikan natin yung semifinals game in 86 against FBU Coach Ron I don't think it was semi-finals. Oh, uh, sorry, oh, oh, pero, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, yung pinag-usapan. Parang best two records. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, best two records. No, I think uh, what Noel is referring to is yung second round game against FEU. Mm-hmm. Yung, 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 yung steal ni yung steal ni Ramil Cruz. Oh, si Ramil, of course. Yung... Yeah. He, he made a steal in the dying seconds. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, I, I don't know if you remember that game. Mas maganda kung manggaling sa, sa'yo. Kasi yes, 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 yes. Marami yes. ka nang tarong ganun, yung talo na. Yung talo na. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yung, yung alam mong... Kasi first half at second half lang naman nun, hindi naman quarter games. Uh-huh. So, mm-hmm. Alam mo, kasi minsan naman, maski alam mong lamang yung kalaban, alam mong makakabalik kayo. Eh. Pero minsan, meron namang... Halos isa, dalawa lang yun lamang. Yung hirap na hirap kayo, yung parang hindi ka makaahon. So, isa, may, of course, I feel it was a different game because ano yun eh, yun yung pantawid namin para makarating nga doon sa malapit na sa dulo. Uh, ayun, hawa ng Diyos, si Ramil, biglang bumilis tumakbo. Hindi <laughs> 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 mag-reference na talaga si Ramil. Pero, yun lang, uh, yun din yung magic ni Coach John noon. I think it, it did not hold through just for that season. But, Maski nung bago pa kami dumating, no 1982 team, kasi nakarating din sa finals yun. Why do I say that? Kasi ano rin yun eh, to become a destination school, you have to at least be able to show na uh, you have a team that competes and is able to get tun sa dulo. So, uh, UP was attractive because yun nga nananalo at uh, yung recruitment tumakunga palo. So, Uh, I think Ramil is a part of that. Alam mo naman yung mga... Tama ba, Clarishans? Mga tiga-Claret. Mm-hmm. Tama. Ah, so, UPIS yung Ramil. Oh, UPIS. <laughs> si Coach Ricky pala yung tiga-Claret. So, anyways. Mm-hmm. Uh, yun yan. Kasi uh, nag- naguguling isip ko. Kasi the year after si Alfie Manlulo, may mga pinanalong laro din sa amin the year after. Eh. So, anyway, I remember that game. FEU rin yun. I remember so, that. So, mm-hmm. Anyway, people will always say, of course, eh, mga pangalan ng mga... Uh, nanguna, but you cannot discount the fact that sila Ebet Wenceslao, sila Ramil Cruz. Of course, si Dwayne Salvatera. Oh, Dwayne Salvatera. Mm-hmm. Had a big, big hand. Sila Primo Rodriguez. Yan, sila Chris Omer. Si Prime. Si, si Optimus Prime. Prime. <laughs> so, sana meron akong brain cells ni Prime talaga. So, <laughs> yun, yung mga, yung mga, yung completed, I won't say the cast, but yung completed, completed the winning run because they worked the hardest Uh, pagdating sa mga insayo, kasi yung talagang insayo namin, talagang gasgasan talaga yon talagang matira at matibay. At kung 
kung meron ka pang iluluha, eh tiisin mo lang. Dahil tomorrow is another day, ganun lang kasi. <laughs> In terms of uh, <clears throat> yung hardship to get through every practice day. But lahat yun, kasama nga sa magic ni Coach Joe yun, that's why he was able to build a tough team na through, through it all, sa hirap, sa mga talo, sa pag-aral, eh, nalatiling yun, solid, saka uh, yun nga, pinalad makarating sa dulo. Before that championship game, Coach, meron din kayong napakagandang experience. Uh, your first call-up to the national team. And uh, you went to Seoul and you came home with a with a bronze medal, no? The golden bronze, yeah. na tawag dun, ano? So, yeah, good. What was that experience like? No one expected you to even make it to the semifinals. You know, sa bini lang wala. Wala na yung final season na charging si Kaitik. Hindi. Kung 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 tumanda na sila, doon sila sa national mm. team together. Yun ang alam ko kung program nung, nung team na yun. So, uh, until, uh, of course, the EDSA revolution happened and uh, they had to reassemble the team and some yeah. of the people decided not to come back. Kaya lang kami nagkaroon ng chance uh, to try out. We made it to that by try out. Puno yes. yung recent memorial niya eh, nung pinatawag ni Coach Joe yung mga try outs. But eventually, yeah. Uh, some did not, or rather some opted not to try out kasi na dating nasa team sila or some decided not to be a part of it kasi may, may konting upheaval during that time. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, pero meron kaming mga ilan-ilan na mga bago made the team. But of course, yung mga big name there sila Samboy, Alan Kahidik, uh, Elmer Reyes. Uh, yan yung aming mga inabot doon na uh, who decided to play in 1986 uh, Asian game. So, special sa amin yun dahil first time kami nakasakay ng aeroplano outside of the country. Una po na. Pangalawa, first time ako nakakita ng instant noodles sa lalagyanan. Nakakita <laughs> <laughs> ng orange juice sa uh, aluminum. So, yun yung mga bagay na naalala ko. But it was really something that was uh, magical, no? just to be a part of that team because uh, that was my first time to represent the country and uh, <clears throat> hindi ko rin naman alam that that winning run will hold for a long, long, long time. But uh, just to be a part of the team, nanalo man o hindi, just to represent the country. Uh, another dream fulfilled para sa akin. Kaya sabi ko nga nun, makapag-aaral lang ako, masaya na ako and to represent the country in 86 and uh, win some games and almost make it to the finals and play against ang gagaling ng mga nakalaban namin. Lee Chung Yee, Her J, The Barakat Brothers. Mm-hmm. Hindi, na, na, nababasa ko lang sila sa Asian Civilization eh, but I did not think <laughs> I will get the chance. No, totoo yan. Alam mo, alam mo, kami ang pinakamasipag makipagpalit ng mga, yung mga pin ng Pilipinas, tapos pupunta ka sa mga ibang mga dormitory. Pakikipagpalit ako talaga. Dahil hindi ko naman alam kung mauulit pa. So, sinatsaga ko yun. mag ako ng maaga doon sa cafeteria. Pag may kumain na, titignan ko yung flag. Pupunta ako lang, makikipagpalit ako. Anyway, pati yung Japan, they had 7-4, 7-6 yeah. plate. Huh. Oh, so, so, Okayama. Kasi Okayama, mm. na, ano yun, national treasure ng Japan. So sa akin, just to be able to compete against this, uh, para sa akin, yung sobrang high caliber na yon no uh, along that line hindi ko na makakalimutan yung what more na makasama ko is sila Jolas sila Alan sila Samboy sa isang tirahan kasi sa sa akin noon ano sila talaga big names na sila noon sa amateur basketball sa kanila na yan eh. decorated na sila eh. and they they took us under their wing and they helped us be able to help them uh, help the country get that uh, bronze medal which was Unbelievable. Unbelievable really. Hanggang ngayon, nililinis-linis kayo yung medalya kasi nakita ko kung gano'ng kahirap. Nakita ko kung gano'ng kabigat yung programang ginagawa ng gilas para makarating, makapasok. So, dati kasi nakatabi lang. 
Pero kayo, may may nililinis ko yan. Nililinis. Pag nanonood ako ng mga laro ng national team, nililinis ko yan. Hindi ko akalain na bawat bawat uh, laban nun was going to be extra special for us. Even during the time that South Korea beat us. Kasi, mm-hmm. ako nga pala, I just like to state this as a matter of fact, I never had a chance to beat a team from Korea. Except once in the PABL. Uh, anyway, <laughs> just to be in the same in the same floor as the Herjay, si Lee Chung Hee was magical. But pambihira uh, talaga yon. Makita mo lang yung, yung teams from China, Korea <clears throat> parading. Tignan ng kikilabutan kaya. Eh. Kasi nung usapan na, tignan mo masama, tignan mo masama, tignan mo masama. Takutin mo, takutin. <laughs> Sige nila. Eh. Saka hindi mo makakalimutan yon. Dahil doon lang kami nagsusot ng white pants sa parada. <laughs> Marami kang picture na pinakita sa akin dati doon eh. Pa isang buong album yun eh. Ano yan? Photos yan. Binili na lang ka. Yung ganun. Uh-huh. Oo, kasi wala alam kami pa yung pambili dito. So doon uh, si Butch Ray yung team manager namin eh. I think I think uh, they were the owners of FEU before the Montinola family took over. So, meron kaming bonus noon pag nananalo. So, bumibili kami ng mga gamit. Bumibili kami ng camera, bumibili kami ng sapatos doon. Kaya bumibili kami ng noodles. Doon lang ako tal- <laughs> Kasi nagula kasi it, it was almost winter. We were playing, I believe we played yeah, yeah. in October. Something. October. Yeah, just October. Uh, uh, we were there, I think, a week before. So, pagpasok mo ng village, meron parang 7-11, first time ako nakit. Yung mga athletes, Umuusok, umuusok. Oh. Eh, Siyempre, engot, engot kami. Diba? Engot, engot kami. Wow! Umuusok! <laughs> ano yun? Tapos yan, makain siya. Tapos namin, bubunutin yung nasa lata, bubuksan. Sabi ko, lata! <laughs> lata, oh! <laughs> engot, engot kami. May namin, nakita namin si Sambo at si Alan. Bumibili. Siyempre, sari na silang mag-travel. Eh. Tinanong na, ano yan? Ah, hindi niyo alam to. Ano to? Uh, instant noodle saka yung orange juice na may pulp beets. Uh-huh. So, pila, pila kami. Eh, hindi namin mabilang yung pera ng South Korea kasi won eh, di ba? So, hindi naman first time namin magbiyahe talaga. So, hindi na makakalimutan. Eh, pero sila, at saka ano pala, ito isang kwento lang. Sa loob ng isang village, Mapa Olympic Village, Asian Games Village, Southeast Asian Games Village, may mga may mga products yan eh. Tins masipag nga akong pumila doon makipagpalit ng mga ng mga pins. Nakita ko kasama namin si Jojo Villapando eh, reserve siya noon. Nagtataka ako. Ala ko maaga na ako. Nagtataka ko si Jojo, but napakaagang gumising. Pag bangon ko, wala na. Yung pala, ang ginagawa ni Jojo, inaabangan yung mga giveaways. <laughs> Kasi ilan lang eh. Alimbawa, limang jacket, limang windbreaker. Hanggat sa nakita ko, sabi ko, Jo, anong tinagawa mo dyan? Ay, mika, mila ka rito. Giveaway. <laughs> so, <laughs> magtataka sila, kala nila nagja-jogging kami. Ja-jogging kami, ako namin pumila. So, pipila kami. Pipila kami para meron kami yung windbreaker, minsan susuwertihin ka ng mga sapatos until kumalat na sa team. <laughs> Takan-taka si Coach Jong, aga namin bumabangon. Kala niya, jogging kami, kakain na kami. Ang dami namin nakuha ang giveaways noon na ginawa na namin pa sa lupo. Pero hindi na ibili. Pero yun, yun yung mga... At saka ano, at saka gusto-gusto namin na uuna dun sa kainan kasi siyempre sa UP di naman ako nakakain sa, kasa, sa area lang ako. Doon. Grabe yung pagkain doon talaga. Grabe talaga. First time, first time namin nakaranas nung kung ano yung gusto mo, kainin mo. Huwag mo lang ilalabas, pero kainin mo lahat ng gusto mo. Doon lang kami natikin oh. ng peras, oh. ng mga ubas na iba-iba. Maganda naman yung menu eh. No? The menu is uh, impressive rin. Eh. Sa mga ganun oh, klase ko. Oh my goodness. Yung, yung village namin was the village used in the 1988 Olympic. Hmm. Swerte kami. Yung 1990 naman in the 1990 Olympic. So, mm-hmm. kumbaga, <laughs> kami yung nakikigamit bago nila paggamit sa actual competition. Kami yung parang dry. Kaya swerte talaga mm-hmm. kami. At saka, no, napakaganda talaga ng soul. At uh, talagang the late Jack Tanuan and Alvin Patrimonio, talagang 
paborito nila kasi mga may mga snitch yung mata eh, di ba? Chinky-eyed sila eh. So gusto gusto talaga nila yung dalawa. <laughs> yung mga pinakasikat. Uh, ito po yung inaakit yung bus namin. Pinababa si Jack sa kasikap Alvin dati sa sobrang kanina. 15 and 15 and yung mga numbers sa ata nila so yun ang sigaw ng mga tao uh, 15 at ano pa si Alvin? 4 yata si Alvin nun hindi ko alam kung 4 hmm. or 8 eh. sa, kasi hmm. si Kat minsan nag-8 hindi 8 si Alan nun eh 8 si Alan nun eh kasi si maskino, Alvin. Na, maskino number niya ang galing niya eh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. doon ko nakita doon ko nakita yung Alvin Patrimonia na alakas ko ang lalaki ng mga ang liliit na ang liliit namin eh Ah, uh, kasi yung sentro natin forward lang sa kanila eh. Pero doon ko nakita na sa ito may laban ng mga Pilipino basta magkaroon lang ng chance to represent the country nang paulit-ulit. May laban talaga. Dapat na no, oh. medal match kayo noon eh, pero Oo oh, nga. Wala eh. Ano ba 'yung charging si Alan noon eh? <laughs> <laughs> ano ba? Were you on the floor coach nung nangyari yung tawag natin? <laughs> ko yung pumasa. Yeah, siya yung pumasa kay oh, siya yung pumasa. Okay. Kasi oh. dalawa lang yan eh. Kung hindi kay Samboy, kay Alan. Pagdating sa transition, gano'n lang naman yan. Nasabi ni Alan, pag hiningi ko, bigay mo. Sabi ni Samboy, pag hiningi ko na maaga, bigay mo. So, yun lang naman ang ginawa ko. Masunurin ako eh. Pag alam ko na dikdi ka na, hanapin mo na yung dalawa. Kasi sila talaga yung go-to players namin. Talagang pambihira yung mga yan. Mm-hmm. Parang, ewan ko, walang takot eh. <laughs> Walang, walang kaba. Walang, wala, iniwan yata nung pinanganak sila, iniwan na sa hospital yung mga kapal. <laughs> Ang bihira. <laughs> Saliligsigap na lang. Kaya eh. nung, si Coach Ala nung unang humingi ng bola. Kaya sa kanya mo binigay. Um, I think pinake pass ko kasi Sam. Hindi ko na mahalala yung pasa, pero si Samik kasi, si Sam, kailangan maagam bigay mo ng bola sa kanya dahil he needs uh, well, no certain numbers of dribbles para makabuelo kasi di ba umeere. Hmm. So, ang feeling ko parang hinata ko hanggang pumasok sa may free throw eh. Kasi nag, parang nag-iisip din ako na ititira ko pero naghanap ako ng high percentage yun lang ang naisip ko. I think we had the numbers in that transition play. Sa kasi Alan, ang galing kumuha ng foul niya. Nakala mo uh, shooter lang sa malayo? Hindi. Ang galing sa malapit niya. Ang, ang haba kasi niya. Saka ang galing ng mga end one na mga dilensya ni ni Paring Alan. Sabi mm-hmm. mo, no? all these games, all these uh, yung games yun dyan sa sa Asian games when you won the bronze, and then yung sa UP, yung eighty, yung yung eighty six na you beat FU, then you get to the finals, the finals games against UE. Do you have copies of these? Sadly, wala. Tapes? Eh. Yung mga, may mga tapes ka ba ng mga games na yun na pinapanood mo? <coughs> na, wala. Ay, kahit dati, wala talaga. Ah, wala talaga. Eh, hindi naman kami... Yung, I, I, I hope yung mga ibang teammates ko meron. Uh, from time to time, some people show me snippets kung yung sa Asian games may mga nagpapadala. Uh, mostly, wala. Pero hindi ko naman dinadagdagan yung kwento. So, safe na. <laughs> Mapabilang lang ako dun sa team na yun. Malaki na pasasalamat ko kay La Pose. Diyo nga pala, kailangan banggitin ko si Coach Mon Bernabe was also very oh, yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That time. Naalala ko lang kasi kasi tatlo sila noon. Si Coach Joe, Coach Mon Bernabe, si Butch Reyes, sila yung aming management team noon sa, sa unang national team na pinaglaroon ko which uh, saw action outside ng Eh, yeah, sinasabi ko lang kasi about that national team yung 86 before Gilas came along. I think the 86 team was the best national team na all amateur na binuo natin in the history of uh, sa, sa ating history. So, ang ganda talaga. It's one of my favorite national teams at Kala, least. Pero marami ring malalakas na sumunod. Mm-hmm. Actually, yung kila Benji, sila Bong Alvarez. Bong Alvarez, Nelson na sa ito, no? Ay, nako po. Doon. Sila Joe so, Reyes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. June Eric. June and Eric, nandun sila. Uh-huh. Was Danny Flashit uh-huh. still around, di ba? Mm-hmm. Nag-youth yata siya. Nag-umabot ba siya mm-hmm. ng ano? Uh, I think youth team lang si Danny. Oh, youth team mm-hmm. si Danny. Uh-huh. Sama na sila Sandro Limpot. That time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dati, yun, mapa youth, mapa men's, basta maging oh, national yeah. player ka. Hmm. Hirap nun. Hirap talaga maging part ng national team. What an achievement. Oh. Kasi dito, ito, tanong gusto mo ito sigurado eh. 1987, um, UP had a chance siguro. Makaya mag back to back. UP. Well, Benji. Diba si Benji? Uh, and some other players were still there. Uh, of course, diba, may, mga, may mga nag-national team eh. 
Hindi, sa, yeah, um, Coach Ronnie was about to say it. Yeah, sige, sige, Coach. Tama. Wala na si Coach Eric noon. He decided to uh, forego his final year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pero we return. Si Benji, si Joey, sa Kapo, we return. Oh. And I think Dwayne also sat out that year. Eh? Uh, Dwayne Salvatera. I'm not really sure. Uh, yes. Maybe. <laughs> so, <laughs> I remember. We, we, were, we were hopeful. We were, we were trying to make it again. Pero hindi na kalusot eh. And that was our final year. Yeah. Kung, kung umabot kaya sa finals, you think, kung yan, kasi bad, poor, poor start yung UP noon, eh, di ba? Dahil nga, wala yung ibang players, the national team. Mm. You know, had, yeah. but kung umabot kaya ng finals, you remember the champion that year was Ateneo. Yun yung back-to-back ng Ateneo, 87-88. Eh. Yung team ba ng Ateneo na yun, Coach Ronnie, team mo anong matchup ninyo against that 87? Mm. Hindi, hindi ako sure kung sinong nanalo sa second round. Naalala ko lang in the first round, it was an opening day game. We were yeah. able to win yeah. against Ateneo. Yung second round, I cannot recall. So, probably I'll, rec- I'll recall for you, Coach. Yes, second please. round, wala kayo. Ni Benji and Joey, you were at the ABC. Wala rin si Coach Mon Bernabe. Okay. So, kayang tatlo wala. And I think Atene won by 30 points. Pero oh siyempre, may asterisk yun kasi wala kayo eh. So, <laughs> wala, 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 so yung only match na, ma, ano, yung only game na match talaga na completing lineups was the opening day. Which uh, you won. I remember you had 39 points in that game. I remember that. Grabe naman ang memory mo, Sid. Freshman ako nun. As a freshman. Freshman sa nun. If we if we base it on the one game that you played uh, against Ateneo that year, the opening game, and uh, you saw how Ateneo played all the all throughout that season, then. Uh, Sino tinalo ano nila? Sino tinalo nila? UE, si na coach Jerry yon. UE again. Um, yeah. Uh, UE na naman. Eric was there. Eric Reyes, Reyes. was there. Yeah. Araneta was there. Yes. Araneta was there. Alex. Oh. Yes, Alex. Uh, mm. Makakakumpit naman, makakamatcha, pero malakas oh. din. Malakas din. Malakas din ang Ateneo dahil ano na sila nun eh, heavy into recruitment. Oh, Sino? Jet Nieto. Jet Nieto. Chote mo, di ba? Si Nono yun. Si Nono yun. Si Nono yun. Naging teammate ko kasi sa PABL eventually. Oh, si Nono yun. Chote ko. Malakas. Kani. Alam mo, ikaw tabi na nice Kam- match. Ikaw tabi na nice match. Ando na ba si Olsen nun? Parang ando na si Olsen nun, di ba? Yeah, yes. Olsen. Oh. Uh, opening na lang. Pero uh, ano pa lang kasi ng bangko? Ano pa lang kasi ng bangko? June Reyes pa talaga yun. Oh. Oh. So, June Reyes. Yes. Medyo hindi pa nagpaparamdam si Coach Olsen nun. Pero sa side nyo, no, may rookie na... Uh, naalala ko. Na, yun ang naalala ko kasi uh, masipag dumipensa si Olsen from the backcourt mm. to the frontcourt. Naka-pressure siya. Pero mayroon kayong rookie rin ng coach na kabatch ko nung high school. Ayaw yun. Si Tito Bergara. Si Tito Lito. Alam mo, nakikasama ko si Lito sa ano, sa Malaysia. Yeah. Uh, he's based oh. there. He's based na there. Uh-huh. Last year. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, pinakilala sa akin ni Coach Pat. Nagulat ako na si Kala. Ako kaya papakilala sa akin si Tolitz pala. Dahil, <laughs> yung, Nung, yeah. nung, sum- nung nag-compete kami sa 3x3, nandun si, si Tol. Okay, siya ron. He's still doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, we saw each other when I was there in 2018. Uh, Magaling yun. Magaling yun. Tsaka, alam mo naman, pag yung galing sa UPIS na sumampas sa, sa UP, alam mo talaga stand out. Maski, kasi yung program naman natin sa high school, kung hindi man nananalo, pag may ganun kakagaling, hindi, magaling, magaling si Tolitz, magaling si Lito. Scorer yeah. talaga. Uh, Maano yung kamay ng talagang pitik lang na shoot na tayo. Malakas yung katawan. May team lang. Hindi ko lang pa naiinom kung nanonood siya ngayon. Eh. Pero, uh, so, so, bago, tayo, uh, bago tayo mag-transition to the PBA days already, no? Uh, uh, well, batiin natin yung mga nanonood sa Facebook live now. A lot of the guys watching right now. Pasama na. Uh, may gusto bumati ata, Coach Ronnie, Marcel Carion. Masarap daw oh. yung kwentuhan. Brings back memories Bilista. playing with your older brother, Boyet, and hanging yeah. around with Ernie. Marcel Carion. Uh-huh. Tapos maraming uh, iba dito, nagko-comment. Uh, there's some questions also on 
the uh, on the feed, no? Um, yun na natin. Mamaya, baka pwede natin balikan yung mga questions later. Pero yun na nga. So, uh, Hi, welcome Martel. to everybody watching on Facebook Live, Coach Ron. Of course, mm-hmm. I know Marcel, teammate ng kapatid ko. Saka, ang, ang eh, music teacher kami dati si Mrs. Carion sa San Benda. So, teka, ngayon, yung nag, uh, from 87, 88 uh, We will na. ask this one question already. Oh, sige, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sige, sige, go. No, go ahead, go ahead, Charlie. Uh, ask the question na. I was gonna ask Pag- this one question lang. Mm. Yeah, so I, I was gonna ask this one question habang nandito na. How did you develop, and we're moving ahead a bit, dear coach, you, how did you develop your role as an analyst, not just in basketball? Bakit magaling ka rin sa football, volleyball, player baseball? Eh. Dahil nga nag-player ka, di ba? Player Kasi, siya eh. Pag sa akin, rattling, yung, run, yung, rattling run, rattling yeah. run. Basta, <laughs> kasi nga, pag nilaro namin dati, pag nilalaro namin, parang sinasabi ko kanina, di ba? Three seconds to go, after I go, ask the basketball, after I go, after I go, after I go, still, pulls up, turns around, makes the basket, yay! So, ganun kami. Dati, Isidro Del Prado, Isidro Del Prado, Isidro Del Prado. <laughs> In the last turn, Isidro Del Prado, Isidro Del Prado, Isidro Del Prado, Isidro Del Prado. 81 yun, 81. So, ganun kami yun yung, kasi. Uh, Isidro Del Prado with another rattling run. A rattling run. Favorite line day. In the last turn, Isidro Del Prado, Isidro Del Prado. <laughs> So, kung ano yung naririnig ko sa TV, ginagaya ko. At saka, ayun, as a fan, and as a fan of the game, at saka someone who played the game. So, pag, pag nilaro ko, kaya kong ikwento. Pag hindi ko nilaro, katulad ng swimming, eh, hey, paano ko ikukwento? Baka mamatay ako. <laughs> Malulog ako sa ako. <laughs> hindi, hindi na nalaman ng marami, actually. Naging ka-partner ko pa si Coach Ronnie. Naging ka-partner ko pa si Coach Ronnie. Baseball coverage din. Pati baseball, Coach Ron, na tinira din natin dahil sa Rizal Memorial. Oh, okay, so uh, uh, walong oras lang naman 'yon, di ba? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, pat na laro, syempre, o tatlo na laro. Track and field tayo, coach. No. Napapabuti ko 'yan kasi nung nagtapos ako sa San Beda, ang sports na pinayagan sa akin ay track and field at basketball. Hindi na ako pinag-football, hmm. sabi sa akin, 50% scholarship from track and field, 50% sa basketball kasi Kung hindi nila gagawin yan, kukuha pa ako ng isang sport kasi wala nga kaming pambayad eh. So magka-football ako. Ang kuya ko na panganay ay softball, basketball. Yun si Boyet, yung classmate ni Marcel Carion. Yung kuya ko namang isa, basketball, football. Ang sport niya. So lahat kami multi-sports. So kung ano lang yung payagan ni Coach Hato kasi siya yung athletic director na base siguro sa tingin niyang kakayahan namin na may balance sa pag-aaral namin. Yun yung ilaalaw niya. Pero sa akin, kung ano yung kailangan ko laruin. Uh, sungka. Ayaw ko yan. Basta mga sige <laughs> scholar ako. Laban ako dyan. So yun, yun lang. Siguro sa pagiging anapis, ano lang yun. Uh, siguro dahil sa... Gusto ko rin magkwento nung laro based sa paano ko nilaro dati. At saka talagang fan ako. And I really want to, to help generate yung popularity for the sports that I played and I followed na hanggang ngayon sinusundan ko. Kaya basta merong Southeast Asian Games and Asian Games, gusto ko yan. Gusto ko talaga. Gusto kong net maaari din. Gusto ko rin nanonood. Mm-hmm. I'm a very big fan of sports in general mm-hmm. talaga. Guys, can I just ask one question kay Coach before we move into the PBA thing? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Coach, yung PBA, PABL. Kasi maganda rin yung karyer mo sa PABL. Eh. You played for ECO. Played for Philips, di ba? Philips. Sa loob ko kay Alvin yan, kaya ako nasama sa ito. Tinama niya ako ron. Yeah, para how did that help you, you know, in your in your development as a player for the PBA, getting you ready for the national team? Okay, okay. siguro, siguro attorney ang pinakamahirap kasi at that time was, uh, <clears throat> yun nga ulitin ko, uh, the first, the pioneers were big names, larger than life. But you also have to understand that Merong, merong isang generation sa PBL, PABL, na hindi sila nakarating sa PBA. Marami yon, mm-hmm. And these are national players who did not get the chance to make it to the PBA or when they made it to the PBA, tumanda na sila. Kasi nga, katulad ko, hindi ko rin naman alam na, na magkakaroon ng, rota- ng, ng cycle. It just so happened that I was a part of the group na nasa second cycle kami. PBA opened in 75. For example, they were 25 years old or 23. So, in 1986 or 1988, 86, kasi ng 86 sa national team, 
bago kami pumunta sa Seoul, nag-guest team kami sa PBA. Mm. Yes. Doon ko nga na-realize na may chat sa kumbaga na na, na na fuel yung hindi French curiosity, French. yung awareness ko na na nababantay ang kusi ganito, nakashoot ako kay ganito. Kalaban namin may may import si Third Kill, si Dexter Shows, nakalaro namin yan eh. So going back to your question, yung PABL. So we had the chance as early as my first year in college na isama na ako ni Coach Joe sa isang team ni Coach ni Boss Buddy Encarnado, yung ESQ. Yes, That was the inception of the PABL. That was the very first competition of the ABL. And the, the best team there was Lager Light, yung team ni Boss Danding. Yeah. And there was a pot money of 100,000 which will go to the winner of that competition. Kasi mga national players na nasa Lager Light, eh, mga NCC yan. Karamihan. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, ang, ang, ang gusto ko lang point na parating is sila Jerome Cueto, sila Jojo mm. Valle, sila, mm. sila Mokesh Advani, sila Jojo Villapando were there and they were big names outside of the PBA pioneers. If you want to be a standout or a mainstay, huwag nang standout, kung gusto mong maging mainstay ng isang team kasi ang daming players pero konti lang dati parang 12 lang sa isang team eh yeah. kung gusto mo talagang mapabilang sa isang team eh kailangan matigas ang mukha mo kailangan lalaban ka because that was the generation na sakitan talaga sakitan talaga talagang uh, if you no want blood, to no foul. Foul. <laughs> ganun talaga eh kaya yun na nakagisnan na, 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 ko eh in fact, maski naman nung nasa NCAA, yun na yung inabot ko. Yun na yung nakita ko. And uh, maski yung nakita ko sa PB, yun yung nakita kong ira eh, Na if you want to survive, you have to to stand up for yourself. Or else, wala talaga. Wala namang, hindi naman pwedeng marunong ka lang. Hindi <clears throat> naman pwedeng mabilis ka lang. Hindi naman pwedeng makashoot ka lang. Kailangan ma-incorporate mo yan through it all, kailangan matapang ka. At saka, ready ka masaktan. At ready ka na makisama. Yun ang importante. Kasi, marami rin ako nakita na na magagaling. Big names uh, who eventually faded. But there were those na hindi naman ganun kagagaling who stayed. Why? It's because marunong silang makita ko. Eh. So those were things that I learned in my early years in the ko Kasi bangko naman ako noon eh. Nabigyan lang ako ng chance na maglaro dun sa mga dulo na kasi may nasaktan may nawala sa foul trouble. So that's why I had chances to play. Pero grabe ang rotation nun eh. Nandiyan si Adonis Chera, nandiyan si Mukesh Advani, nandiyan yung Jojo Guzman. Ang dami. Ricky Kui. Diba? So again, those are big name players who, were, who had chances to make it to the PBA early. But eventually, before they made it to the PBA, it was a little too late. So, kumbaga, pass ka ng mga best years mo. So maski makarating ka, mahirap na mag-excel. Mm-hmm. So, maswerte kami dahil from 1983 in my first year all the way to 86 hanggang 87, kalaro ko sila. So, nasanay ako. Nasanay ako na hindi ka mareklamo. <clears throat> nasanay ako na marunong ka makisama. Nasanay ako na if you want to be among a mainstay, just to be a mainstay, you have to be good. At doon ko na-realize na you have to be good not just in one game, but you have to be a good player in practice and someone who delivers in games when you're called on. Kasi <coughs> hindi ka pa naman initially mahaba yung oras eh. So yun yung mga bagay na natutunan ko dun sa mga players na inabot ko na hindi naging big names sa PBA eventually. Pero nakarating sila, kung meron mga big names sa PBL na hindi nakarating sa PBA, who became national players also, pero hindi nakarating sa PBA. But I had chances to play against them. And they were really, really good and solid players. Yun ay mga binanggit ko. Mm-hmm. Jojo Valle, Alex Regis, Jerome Cueto was unbelievable for his size and height. Grabe ang galing nun. Ang dami, ang dami kong mga nakalaro na natuto ko talaga kung paano, kung paano lumaban, kung paano mag-survive, at kung paano, paano, paano mas Ma- manatiling buhay ka pa para sa susunod na laro. 
Well, no, in 88 ngayon, pumasok na kayo sa PBA, di ba? Parang out of their, kasi yung national team, parang unti-unti na rin nagtatransition noong time na yon. So kasabayan nyo uh, sa national team ng uh, nag-PBA, Jolas, Alvin, Jerry, Glenn Capacio, Jack Tanuan was actually first overall sa 88 draft. Tapos kayo, nakuha kayo ng shell. So now you're a rookie all over again. So what was the transition like, Coach Ron, mula sa pagiging college player, national team player, and now eto na, pros. Ayan na sila, Jaworski, makakalaro mo na. <laughs> Nakalaro naman namin sila in 1986 and in 1987. Nabugbog na nila kami during those three years. <laughs> Nabugbog in such a way na talagang nasubok nila. Nasubok kami talaga. Uh, kung baga, kung makakashoot ka, kailangan magdaan ka sa kanila. Kung makakaribahan ka, kailangan Ano ang paghirapan mo? So anyway, uh, meron lang ako isang dream na hindi talaga na-reach and that was to be able to play kasama sila Alvin, sila Jolas. Kasi yan yung dream sana namin you know, after nung uh, <clears throat> 1986 na Asian Games team na pag nag-pro kami, magkakasama sana kami. <clears throat> Maski nung nasa 1987 na kasi nag-uusap na kami na uh, akit na kami. may chance na kami, makakaya na namin sumabay. So, gusto ko sanang mapabilang sa kanila. Pero, ano eh, anim lang. Anim lang. Eh si Alvin made it, pero he had to serve the 1989 National Team First Conference, I think, before being allowed to to play in the PBA. So, eventually, uh, I ended up with Shell. Pero talagang, initially, gusto ko talaga mapasama sa kanila. Yun talaga ang... talagang pinaka-dream ko na hindi ko nakuha. But eventually, I ended up retiring and playing for Pure Foods. So, yun lang. Kasi gusto sana namin magkakasama kami. Then, eventually, naging magkukumpare kami. But, probably, fate had its own story. And um, Coach Joe took me sa shell. Uh, took me in sa shell. Kasi initially, hindi na sana ako aakyat. I was to forego 1988. and play another year sa national team. Yun na sana yung decision ko dahil uh, <clears throat> your foods decided not to include me dun sa parang direct hire yata ang tawag. Mm, 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 yes. Yeah. Apat silang direct hire na rin. Oo. Apat sila. Uh, parang lima yon kasi si Alvin yung isa. Mm. I thought that I was going to be a part of it pero kinausap naman ako. Pero second to unfinished ko. Oo. Mm. Oh, kinausap ako ng your foods noon. Ang bait nila sa akin. In fact, sabi nila we can pick you But we will trade you. But we will give you a very good offer. Parang sign and trade. Mm-hmm. So everything was on the table. Pero siguro, bata pa ako nun at inaunahan ako ng lungkot. Sabi ko kung hindi ko rin lang makakasama yung mga teammates ko, siguro babalik na lang muna ako sa national team. At least kasama ko si Alvin doon. Tapos uh, makapag-medal ulit. Tapos mag na lang ulit ako the next year. <clears throat> kasi gusto ko nga sila pero napakabait nila Mr. Panganiban sa akin noon naalala ko yun sabi niya pirmahan mo na to dahil hindi mo makukuha to but we have to trade you because si Al Solis ang gusto namin na, <clears throat> na kasama nila so si Al Solis grabe yung galing-galing na mm-hmm. right? so anyway so uh, there was no signing that happened until Coach Joe called me up sabi niya interesado ka ba maglaro para sa Shell Sabi ko, coach, hindi ko alam paano ba yung ano. So eventually, uh, I played for him sa Shell. At uh, ayun, uh, may kasama kami ni Benji, nakapanalo naman ng ilan. At, uh, eventually, nakasama ko rin si Alvin para sa Pure Foods nung in my twilight years. Salamat sa Diyos. <laughs> But in your Shell experience was very successful, di ba? Yes, 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 yes. It, it, Uh, yung tanong nyo kanina, how was it? Alam mo, in my first conference, it was really hard. I thought that yung national team uh, experience ko was enough for me to prepare no, uh, to be a part of a professional team, but it was difficult. It was difficult. Why? Because one, just a national team, kabisado mo na mga kasama mo eh. Alam mo na yung gagawin ng isa't isa because we played for two years uh, non-stop together. Iba teammates ko pa sa uh, commercial teams. Dito iba. Tapos yun na, diba? mahirap kasi makikibagay ka, makikisama ka, at bagito ka. Mm-hmm. So it was hard. Tapos yung nga, akala ko, since uh, <clears throat> pang 12th or 13th year na ng mga PBA pioneers, akala namin madali na mag-compete o kaya na. 
Ang hirap eh. Nakatakiling <laughs> dance, magagaling talaga. So, it was hard. Then it was frustrating early because we were losing. Uh, but, uh, yun nga, things eventually settled and uh, uh, parang nung nasa UP rin, una puro talo, una puro frustrations, injuries. Sometimes you take a look at your decisions. But siguro, when you work hard and you pray harder, uh, good things are bound to happen until eventually, yan, awanan Diyos, si Benji na naman, ay, uh, <laughs> hindi pa siya kalbo nun. eventually ended up going to Shell the next year. At uh, a year after, we were able to win a championship for us. So once again, yun na naman, yun, yung pagpasok na naman ni Benji. And again, I would reiterate na mapalad ako dahil yung timing ko, na uh, parang ganun ang tingin ko nang nakasama ko sila again, sila Alan, sila Sambra, pero yung swerte ko naman, nakasama ko itong mga to. Pwedeng-pwede man ako nag-national team years before, dito ako napasabay, ito yung nananalo. So, yung swerte ko, natututo ko sa kanila. Ganun naman si Benji. Pwede naman hindi siya napunta sa Shell. Pero sa Shell na naman siya napunta. Once again, I was able to ride the, 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 the bus of the Benji para sa Enigma. The winning Enigma. So, <laughs> well, like, iniisip yun. Yung, yung bakit laging may connection, bakit laging may yeah. intersection. intersection. So, like, kung ina, in, like, naniniwala ako that there's always the perfect timing and uh, yung sense of uh, connectedness yung na may ganoon na uh, kasi it's a team sport eh at saka bit diba yung iba hindi na nanalo hindi nagiging part ng winning team and probably it's because of uh, something like that yun lang naman ay sa aking pananaw Nung ano, unang championship niyo coach was actually 1990 Open Conference kalaban yun nun Anyeho the so, natag- few oh. sa 8 to 9 eh sa San Miguel oh. eh yes yes Tapos yung ano, yung medyo controversial, of course, we wrote about it sa ESPN5.com just a few days ago. To May 15 was the 30th anniversary ng una yung oh. championship ah, sa, sa TBA. Oh. Oh, oh. 30th, 30th anniversary. 30, 3 0. Oh, 30th anniversary <laughs> na yun. Yung, uh, ah. yung walk-out na kanyeho <laughs> na ginawa na, na nabigay sa championship. Take us back to that series, sa uh, Coach. Kasi alam ko, naalala ko, binalibag, may bumalibag sa inyong player nun eh. Di ko malala ko si... That's right. Si Leigh Isaac ba yun? Or si ano, yung, uh, or Rudy Disney? Rudy. Yung, ano? uh, ganito lang, ganito lang si Rudy. Ganito lang, ganito lang ang malala ko. Parang nung, parang nung bago kami sa UAAP, kung gusto mong makarating sa, sa tuktok, kailangan pagdaanan mo. Hindi ko naman naalala may bumalibag. Siguro kasama ang landing. Siguro may, <laughs> may matinding contact. Yun lang ang naalala ko. Eh. Kasi sabi ko nga, di ba, ang daming away noon. Off court, on court. So parte yun eh. Uh, and if you were to win a championship, lalong-lalo na against a uh, crowd favorite, kailan talaga paghirapan mo. Physicality was a part of it. Uh, anytime you play against, makikita mo naman eh, pag nagra-round robin pa lang, kung nakita mo yung mga baraso nila parang inukit, alam mo ma, alam mo ulamin mo yun, umarap mo yun. So, uh, ano lang, talaga kagat labi ka lang, saka titignan mo lang score, lamang ba kayo, pwede ka ba magalit, maski magalit ka, ano ba magagawa mo, hindi naman sila, hindi man, di naman kanila mararamdaman. <laughs> So, so ano lang ba ang pwede mong gawin, which is to go to the next play or try to make a free throw, try to score off him, try to defend. So, yun lang dahil kasi kung sa lakas sa lakas, I think uh, ang backbone namin na ay si Bobby Parks. Kung sa yeah. local naman, syempre si Benji na naman. But of course, we also had a nice support crew, a nice crew na matapang dahil hindi ka lang pwedeng hindi matapang. Kasi tatamaan ka ng kung ano-ano at saka <clears throat> kailangan bumangon. Hindi, ganun lang naman eh. Wala namang, wala namang, hindi, wala namang sadya eh. Diba? It's part of the game. Lulusot ka, alam nga naman madali, di ba? Titira ka, alam nga naman free lane. So, alam mo na, bapag pumasok ka ron. Alam mo na na meron. Meron. Pero part of, mas part of the game. Kanya-kanyang enforcer kasi yan. Naalala pa, Rudy Distrito para sa Anyeho Arni Tuadles na ba ng mga tagabawi para sa, si, sa Sheldon? Si Kuya Dante, Gonzalo. Oo, oh, isa pa yun. Oo. Oh, oh. Ang magandang kwento yan, may singit ko lang, 1990 nandun si Kuya Dante. Pauwi na kami, nag-silver medal na. Nasa Hong Kong kami sa stopover na binigay sa amin ni yung team manager na si Goteng po. So, magtutulog na kami ni Benji. 
kasi may game ang shell the next day. So, kumain kami sa isang fast food uh, chain. Tapos, balik kami sa kwarto. Sabi ko, hindi, tulog na tayo. Mapapalaban tayo bukas. May laro tayo. Pagkagaling sa airport, tihis lang, laro na tayo. So, ga kami. Mayroon, tumatawag na si Kuya Dante. Sabi niya, hoy, kayong dalawa. So, silabas kayo ng kwarto. Hindi, pag tititarahin namin kayo, pag uwi. Lumabas kami ng kwarto. <laughs> ba- bakit kayo pinapalabas? O makapagkwento ha, kasi kumain lang kami. Hindi naman kami uminom dahil merong celebration dahil alam namin na pagdating sa Manila, although we were hopeful, hopeful kami in 1990 that we were still going to play together. Ganun naman eh, pag yung nagkaroon kayo ng, ng magandang pinagsamahan at yung there were some uh, initial promises made na we could have been again together as a team for the next uh, uh, national team run. <clears throat> so, yun, usap-usap, pentukentuhan. Uh, sabi, uy, pag ano ah, pwede tayong magkalaw, huwag niya ako si Pae, yung mga gano'y, yung mga gano'y, yung diruan. So, wala rin eh. Ganun pa rin. Mag-iba na yun ni Pogarbe, iba na eh, no? Pero hindi na nawala yung band. Yun lang talaga pag nagkasama kayo. And I think even the the national players na will attest to the fact na pag nagkasama mo na parang brothers for life na yan eh. Iba yung pinagsama. Kaya maski yun, yung mga naging magkakasama sa national team na sandali lang. Kasi parang one month lang yata kami nag-prepare eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, naging magkukumpare yan. Oo, naging magkukumpare. And we had nicknames na uh, doon sa mabilisa namin pagsasama. <clears throat> uh, saka hindi ko rin makalimutan kasi yung uh, first professional team Tsaka hindi ko rin alam talaga na mapapasama ako doon sa team na yun. Yun naman ang malaking pasasalaman yeah. ko kay Coach Sunny talaga. Yan yung uh, next up tanong ko, Coach. Eh. Ito nga yung first all PBA national team. And you were named to it. Uh, yeah. With uh, all of this, with some of these legends na... Gabonandes, di ba? Roommate ko sila. Roommate uh, ko sila. Magkaka-roommate ka. Uh, Kasi parang yeah. doon. Yan eh. Pero yun, pala ano... Uh, kikilambutan ka eh. You, you, you always uh, try to put perspective dun sa mga bagay na nangyayari. Pero hindi sa hindi mo mawala na <clears throat> I was a big fan of theirs bago ko makaapak ng high school na naglalaro. Tapos ngayon, makakasama ko. Di ba? Dati nakalaban eh. Nakalaban lang. Hmm. Initially, was hard because fun ka eh. Ngayon, maging kasama mo. Grabe, makas- makatabi ko nga lang. Tuwan-tuwa na ako. Makasama ko sa aeroplano. Tuwan-tuwa na ako. Tinitignan ko yung... Tinitignan ko paano dumi kwatro. Tinitignan ko paano magpasakyo. <laughs> Ito to yun. Sinusundan namin, sinusundan namin ni Benji. Pag nag- nag-shopping sa Hong Kong, di ko na alam kung sino. Sinusundan namin kung ano yung binibili. Because these are, these are people that yeah. we really look up to. So, hindi lang sila ordinary basketball players. But these are people that we really respect. That not just with the kind of uh, uh, person that they grew, no? yung legend nila. Pero yung pagkatao, kasi iba sila pag sa labas, eh. iba sila. Yung tao sila talaga. Sa nakakatawa sila. Nakakatawa sila. Sa, at um, alam namin na hindi mo alam kung makakasama mo ulit. So, para kaming, para kaming tangan dalawa ni Benzio nun pag pumasok doon sa... <laughs> pasok din kami. Titignan lang sa presyo. Kung mahal, mahal. Bumili ba, bumili ba, bumili ba? Mas lilipat, lilipat sa mga kape, lilipat sa hanggat sa, ayun pala yung mga, ayun pala yung mga signature mm-hmm. ng mga brands na mga pinupuntahan nila. Eh kasi kami, masaya na kami, masaya na kami sa ano, natawag dito. Ano ba to yung brand sa Hong Kong na sikat na sikat? Yung may palaka. Giordano? Yeah! Hindi lang, masaya na, pero... Pero siyempre, alam mo naman yung mga favorite players na teammates namin. Yung mga big time talaga sinusundan namin. Uh, Coach, may isang tanong dito sa ating Facebook uh, live dito. Sino daw pinakamahirap bantayan in your PBA career? Si Jago o si Hector Calma? Uh, katulad ng mga tanong oh, natin. Ba? Yung mga top five sa ganito, top five sa ganito. Sa akin kasi generation, generation eh. Kasi hindi fair dahil magkaiba eh. Di ba? Nung nakalaban namin si Coach Sunny eh ilang taon siya, pero I'll say na isa siya. Pero siguro, uh, as I've said in my past answers, nahirapan ako. Nahirapan ako ng gusto. Of course, uh, Coach Sunny, Ricardo Brown. Kasi si Ricardo Brown, 
nakashoot na. Nakatingin pa ako sa kanya. <laughs> And believe it or not, si Coach Boggs, na jet ako. 42 lang ang ginawa sa akin. <laughs> Dapat 50 yun eh. So, so yung, yung mga yan, yung sa generation yan, of course si Atoy ko, uh, just to be able to see them, play against them. At akin mahirap kasi talagang hindi ako makapaniwala eh. But after that generation, I would say of course si, si Hector, even Franz Pumarin was a tough uh, tough opponent. Pero hindi hindi ko makakalimutan sila. Marte Saldana, sila Willie Willi Her- Generalao, napakahirap kalaban, napakatatalino. And they were tough. Wow. Tapos, <laughs> oh, naku, hindi, mo ma- hindi mo mautakan eh. Nahirapan ako pag hindi mo mautakan. And then, of course, si Dindo Pumarin was always uh, a difficult, difficult matchup dahil grade 4 pa lang magka-teammate na kami. So kilala namin yung isa inside out. And then, uh, of course, the flying A came along. Uh, apak na. Patay na. <laughs> Patay na. <laughs> so, parang, ano eh, parang, yan, tama bagay na bagay yung pangalan niya sa kanya, Flying A. Hindi mo rin pwedeng isang tabi si, si Bal David. Napakahirap din. Hmm. Oo, kasi mabilis. Ano pa ba, baka may mga nakalimutan ako. Al Solis, si Rick Rick Marata, sus Marie Josep. Rick Rick Marata. <laughs> Parang lalagnatin ka tuwing yung kalaban mo dahil jumble pa lang. Ano na, uh, rumarat-rat na talaga. Diba? So, napakarami, napakarami. Mm-hmm. Even, even sa akin, ah, even uh, yung mga big guards na hirapan ako. Sila Mike Advani, sila Joy Loisaga. Kasi malalaki sa kanila. Mm-hmm. Hila, yung isa, mabigat. Nabibigatan ako sa kanila. Coach Rudy, distrito. Mm-hmm. Nabigat. Pero tuwan-tuwa ako, <laughs> nakalalo ko si Francis Arnais kasi ginagaya ko yung foul shot gusto gusto ko. <laughs> Favorite ko yun. Eh. Kaya lang nasa Toyota. Siya yung paborito ko yun. Coach, yung 1992 team nyo, ano, nag-champion din kayo noon, yung second championship mo, uh, open conference yata, with ano, uh, over San Miguel. No, um, yung team na yun, tapos, yun, with Coach Ricky, uh, we, we talked to your former teammate, Ricky Relosa, uh, a couple of weeks back. Uh, patapos na niya yung karyer niya noon eh. But he was the senior, eh, parang elder statesman on that team. Uh-huh. Abay siya. Yeah. Yeah. Sabi niya, he, 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 that was the most fun he had daw in the PBA. Sobrang kwel, kero niyo niyo, ang saya-saya daw na may patawa. Pero sabi niya, isa lang daw yung seryosong teammate niya noon. Ikaw lang daw. <laughs> oh, <Sabi> niya. <laughs> Ikaw lang daw yung seryoso, pero iba, right. kikoy daw. Kasi ito po, Paras, Escobar, sino ko ba yung mga nantos? Sila, sila, Jolly Escobar, sina, uh, ano, pero, pero ikaw daw, uh, ikaw lang daw yung seryoso. Ay, ano, sabi, 1990 sa, to yan, no? 1990. Uh, yeah. oh, siguro kasi dalawa na yung, siguro kasi dalawa na yung daughters ko nun. Hindi, <laughs> 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 uh, alam, napakalaki ng marami ako natutunan kay Ricky talaga how to fight off screens, how to use screens. Siya yung nagsasabi sa akin dati, pag gusto mo malibre, daan mo sa akin. Oo, yun nga. Oo, exactly. Sinabi nga niya yun. That's exactly what he said. Puro sa akin. Pag hindi ka makatira off the dribble, ibigay mo sa akin. Tapos kumat ka lang, isabit mo lang sa akin, tuloy-tuloy ka, hanapin kita. Ang galing niya pumasa ng ganun, yung fake hand of it. Pagkatapos, pag binigyan ka, sabi mo lang sa akin, ako bahala. Pag kagagal, ako bahala. So, kaya yun yung mga nagpapalakas ang loob sa'yo. Sa, uh, napakabait na teammate mo, maski sa'yo. Mm-hmm. May isa pang ano, uh, nakaka-encounter ka yung uh, pwede naging mentor nyo din eventually. Former Rookie of the Year, Leo Austria. You yes, cross paths yes. dun sa, sa Shell. So, may, yes. may, na, may naibigay ba siya sa'yong payo when you were starting out? Uh, si, si Leo was the best player always in practices. He was always the hard worker. And it was a big influence doon sa work ethics ko pagdating sa insayo. Hindi uwi yan hanggat hindi tapos yung ganito karaming tira. At uh, <clears throat> normally, he was always among the first uh, few players in practice. So those were things that uh, I was able to learn from them. Kasi uh, they don't have to tell you this. They don't have to say things like that. You have to learn from what they're doing and how they're playing. That, that was how things were done before. And uh, yun yung mga nakita ko na natuto, natutunan ko. Dahil si Coach Leo was a very, very big name even the national team. And I played uh, behind him in my uh, first year. 
uh, sa shell. At uh, kita ko yung mga ina-insayo niya, nakita ko yung mga tinatrabaho niya. So, yun yung mga you try to, you try to emulate because they're veterans, <clears throat> because they know how to to win. Uh, at uh, they know how to to be uh, a part of the team. No? Kung hindi ikaw yung main man, they know also know, know how to play that role. At uh, which is very important dahil hindi naman pwedeng ikaw parati yung ganito, ikaw parati yung sa ganyan. Uh, may mga panahon na hindi ikaw to, o ikaw yan. At uh, yun yung mga natutunan ko sa kanila. Uh, Magandang si Onchi de la, de la Cruz, marami rin ako natutunan kay, kay Onchi. Parang si Ricky rin yan, no? Fierce competitor in the court. No? Pero pagdating sa practice, <laughs> uh, napakabait, napakabait. Oh, what my question my I've, I've always wanted to ask you this coach Ron tagal na natin magkakilala tagal na natin magkasama sa broadcast pero I never asked you to tell me about Bobby Parks and how special of a human being and as a player as a teammate Bobby Parks was with Shell Katulad siguro nung kinuwento ko kanina tungkol kay Benji na napaka alad ko na nakasama ko pa ulit-ulit mula pa nung high school ganun din kay Bobby kasi Bobby was originally not uh, the reinforcement of Shell Diba? Galing sa San Miguel. San Miguel, yeah. Uh, Eventually yeah. moving over to Shell. Oo. At uh, alam mo, si Bobby yung tipo ng tao na, alam mo yung, through the years, marami na rin nun nakilala. Parang sila Coach Norman eventually. Yung parang Filipino na rin. But si Bobby was early on. Napakadaling makasama. Napakagaang. At uh, there were a lot of uh, reinforcements before were from the NBA na pag hindi mo napasahan, nagagalit. Pag hindi mo nagawa yung ganito sa laro, nagagalit. But Bobby was never like that. Not once. Maski matalo kami, maski na <clears> hindi <throat> mo naibigay sa kanya ng maaga o ng tama yung pasa. Wala kang maririnig. Kakausapin ka lang niya ng maayos. At uh, nakita ko sa kanya, yung he treated Filipinos uh, in a different level. No? Hindi ko na masasabing just as a teammate. Pero, ano eh, yung, yung trust, ang dali niya nagtiwala sa amin. Although kami, tinuro namin sa kanya mga Tagalog or sila Benji, yung mga ayos. <laughs> <laughs> si Joey Guadio yung hindi, gano'n. <laughs> ano, eventually, we ended up magkukumpare kami, si Benji, si Bobby, sa ako. Uh, regarding his playing skills, I knew that he was good. I knew that he was special. But playing alongside him gives you a different perspective because he was—he never went hard in practices. Probably two or three times in the many years I've played with him. Mm. He never went hard in practices. Never lifted weights. But in the game, he would just tell me this, Ronnie Mags, when I tell you to give me the basketball, give it to me right away. Tell Benji to get out of the way. <laughs> and then you spot up. You spot up. If I pass it to you, you take it. If I miss the shuttle, Benji, to rebound the basketball. <laughs> okay, Bobby. So, madali pa nang naging magkakasabi. <laughs> Simple lang pala basketball sa kanya. No? <laughs> Get out of the way. Simple, ano? Okay. <laughs> Kasi, yung iba, pag pinigay ko ng maaga, na turn over. So, ang ginagawa ko, ang turo ni Kostos sa akin, sa kami ato, Itakbo mo hanggang free throw line. Itakbo mo hanggang three point line. Tapos yung pasa mo, pan layup na. Pero may mga players, katulad nila Sam Boylim, nila Bong Alvarez, they want the basketball before the half court. Or, or as soon as they cross the half court. Ganon din si Bobby. Kasi kailangan niya ng buelo. So, at saka si, ano, si Bobby matulungin. Napakabait sa mga sa support staff namin dati sa Shell yan. At kahit nung hindi <clears throat> na siya naglalaro para sa Shell nun. Yan yung mga parang kaibigan mong mga Pinoy na maski matagal mong hindi nakita. Yung kaibigan mo pa rin and you will tell the same stories over and over again. Even during the time na umalis siya ng matagal tapos nung bumalik siya sa Pilipinas, hindi siya nagbago. Hindi siya nagbago. Maski nung mga times na puro siya yung higiging best team court, hindi siya nagbago. At uh, ang laki nung pasasalamat ko na nakasama ko siya ng matagal dahil at that time, Shell was always invited to play abroad or overseas. And Bobby, whenever we were playing abroad, kilala siya ng mga big name ng mga reinforcements. 
sa Australia, sa, sa Kuwait, nung nagpunta kami after the desert storm, nagulat ako sa, nagulat ako sa, sa network niya. I know that he was a big name. But the mere fact that you play alongside someone was so simple, kind-hearted, na pag dilagay mo doon sa loob ng court, parang nag-iibang anyo eh. Nakita ko na he embraced the country as a huge part of his uh, career and uh, his uh, future uh, planning. Pero other, peop- other people from other countries view the team at a different level. So it made me doubly proud to be uh, playing beside Bobby Parks. Kasi mga nakita ko sa Australia talaga, mga galing NBA na mga talagang big, big name players na may mga entourage eh. Samantalang kami, <clears throat> bilang invited team, naka, naka-ban kami. Pero when, when they saw Bobby, parang nagulat sila at uh, natutuwa sila na, na nakasama nila si Bobby first. Now, just to be, just to experience those things with Bobby at uh, makasama si Bobby hanggang nung bago siya magkasakit at uh, <clears throat> naging kasama ko pa yung kanyang anak, yung aming inaanak ni Benji na si Ray Ray. So I guess, again, I go back to that point na yung... There's that certain connection that happened that makes it truly special. So, di ko alam kung fate, di ko masabi kung destiny, pero yun, yun, nangyayari yung mga bagay na may pinanggalingan from what we were before as friends and as teammates. Coach, you know, you, you, you mentioned nga, matagal kayo magkakampi ni Benji, ni Bobby Parks. For a while, you also had Bong Alvarez. Um, do you feel you could have won couple more championships. I mean, I know you want to but with that core, you, know, you feel na you, you missed out on maybe one or two uh, additional championships. Uh, if you just talk about the core, then the answer is yes. But you also have to realize that yung ibang teams malalakas na rin noon eh. In fact, uh, that was, uh, I believe, Coach Tim Cohn started to win by mm-hmm. the early okay, Oh, nag-iba na ganun. Kasi hindi pa rin sila nananalo. So, ano na eh, na-develop na yung sport coaching basta reaching a different level also in terms of preparation and uh, knowledge. At saka yung mga players, uh, kumbaga eventually dati, parang nung panahon rin nila Coach Atoy, nila Coach Sani, ta- na inabot namin. Parang ganun rin, una ka, kambutin ka rin. And uh, these players who were Uh, behind us in terms of uh, getting to the PBA. Magagaling din naman talaga. And they were how to prove uh, themselves. So it was a difficult landscape. At saka napakahirap, napakahirap manalo. Napakahirap manalo. Whenever you have a chance to, to win it, you have to be able to get to that situation. Dahil minsan di ka na makabalik. Eh. Diba? Ulitin ko, maraming magagaling na hindi nakatikim ni isa. O yung iba, nakarating sa finals, hindi talaga naka, nakaranas. Diba? Uh, in fact, Jun Limpot was uh, extremely yeah. hmm. lucky. I no? was about to say. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Pero a lot. A lot. At, uh, meron din naman ng mga hindi big name players who have won a lot of titles, but that's a different case. So, uh, yes, again, the answer may be yes with that core, but it, did that pan out the way we wanted to? So it is, it is what it is. I feel nga that stretch in PBA history, 91 to 96, probably, para sa akin, one of the most competitive ano, so stretches. So Because you, know, you had Alaska coming up and then Coney Island with Alaka no. and, and uh, Jerry and then uh, Swift. And then, yeah, Swift oh. uh, yeah. was also strong. Uh, pure and, and yeah. And Lala then, uh, sa, sa Tony Harris. At saka, huwag natin kalimutan, yeah. first, yung yung time na yan yung mga NBA players who were reinforcements it's either fresh of the NBA or from the PBA diretso uli sa NBA diba sipi mo yung mga kalaban namin sila Kenny Travis sila Lamont Strother sila Kevin Kevin Option ng teammate ko Tony Harris diba ano eh nabasa mo lang eh nabasa mo lang sa NBA alma na katati mo de eh. <laughs> hawak hawak mo yung mga pagtingin pag tingin ko pagtingin ko sa Jesus Mario sir Si Briggs. <laughs> diba? Uh, Babantaya mo. Nabinabab- nilalabas pa lang yung bola. Sumisigaw na ako, help! 
<laughs> Grabe yung firepower nila. Grabe tan. Talo ko blob ko lang talaga kung mahinahin na loob ko talagang talagang titiklob ka rin. Tatawa lang kanila eh. Talaga. That's it. Ganun lang eh. That's it, boy. <laughs> Sino si Matthews o si Briggs? <laughs> si Briggs. Si Briggs. <laughs> Nakataas na yung kanina. That's it, that's it. Masaya ko. Paano to? Help! <laughs> Jumble pa lang. Help! Ibang klase. So, yun. Yung, hindi mo masabi na maganda yung team. Mananalo. Hindi mo masabi na nanalo dahil mas malakas kayo sa, sa, kayo sa iba. Ano eh. Takes a lot. Mahirap may paliwanag. Napakahirap ipaliwanag, napakahirap i-define how to have a winning team. Hindi pare-pareho eh. Dahil iba-iba yung kalaban at iba-iba rin yung sitwasyon. I think um, the winning teams and the winning players but the the fact na it's never the same road. Mahirap, mahirap. Mahirap manalo. Mahirap manalo. Mahiring, mahirap mapabilang mahirap mapabilang sa isang winning unit, lalong-lalo na manalo ka ng napakaraming championship. Napakaraming so before we let you go, we'll have one last one. Bitin, bitin, bitin. We ask this talaga. of ano? We ask this of all of our oh, no, guests. Bitin. Ano? And then, ano mo pwede pagkwento han? Pero sige. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we ask this of all of our guests. Ano? Uh, could you name us your top five favorite teammates? Not yung fa- ano nakalaban na pero favorite teammate. Not the best, but your favorite. Uh, teammates. Let me see. Uh, iba-ibang era. So, iba-ibang, yeah, iba-ibang, isa, eh. yeah, iba-ibang era. Uh, May Bobby Parks pa. <laughs> uh, siguro, uh, the top two will be Benji and uh, Bobby. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think I would put there Joey Guanyo. Mm-hmm. Let me think about one more. Teammate, no? Teammate? Yes, naging teammate mo. Uh, dalawa pa actually. Benji, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Joey. Sa Joey. Yeah. So, dalawa pa. Uh, I believe that will be Jolly Escobar. <laughs> Mga very happy. Sobrang bait na tao. Sa PBA ang sinasabi ha? Si, sa uh, 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 uh. Well, kung gusto mong San Beda rin. Gusto mong na national team, pwede rin. Eh. Kasi uh. mag-iiba eh. Pag sa PBA, mag-iiba. Pag sa high school, mag-iiba. Hmm. Oh, well, sige. Let's stick with PBA. Oh, sige. Sila muna. So, si Bobby, si Benji. One, two, Bobby. Three, Joey. Four, Jolly. Four, Jolly. Five will be, I think, uh, that will be Romy De La Rosa. Kasi yan yung teammate ko na wala akong narinig na angal, wala akong narinig na na masama. Wala akong narinig na na masamang tinapay. Ano lang siya? Laro lang siya ng laro. Laro lang siya ng laro. At uh, walang angal. Parang kabayo. <laughs> <laughs> He was parang the forgotten ano no. Romy De La Rosa. Ngayon ko wala na alala na din teammate niya rin pala sa Shell. Hindi man hindi man nanalo the... yung hindi man nanalo yung team ko wala si Romy. Hmm. Uh, he, yeah, he was like the forgotten starter of that team ano. Hmm. He, he was he was not just he was not just a a high leaper. Dalawang ACL yeah. He was a scorer, a defender, a rebounder oh. and an enforcer all in one. At uh, alam mo, he was ahead of his time at that height. Diba? He could do a lot. Yeah, he's a really uh, underrated player. Yeah, Isinabi ko kasi, kasi yan yung mga nakasama ko sa Shell. Kasi kung, yan na lang muna yung mga favorite teammates ko from Shell. Kasi mm-hmm. pag sinabi mo from the PB, syempre papasok na dyan sila, sila Alvin, sila Jerry, sila Jola. So yan lang yung sa Shell. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. Grabe. Ang daming na, <laughs> napulot na naman na bago. Huwag <laughs> uh-huh. niyo pakalimutan last few seconds after I crossed the basketball. Both yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> our, our last guest actually before you was uh, Coach Ato. Yes. Ato uh, ikaw. Kini ka, uh, sobrang Madami sayang kwentuhan din. Eh. Madaming kwento si, si Com. Napakagaling na tao. <laughs> Kaya hanggang ngayon, maraming trabaho kasi maayos makisama. Maayos maayos makitao. Well, 
Uh, alas dalawang oras na rin tayo, Coach. Oo nga. Uh, keep you anymore. Oh. Ba- 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 uh, any last message for all of your all of your ano, uh, fans out there? I just wish everybody stay safe. Uh, of course, uh, it's going to be different come Monday. But let's uh, all try to be a part of the solution rather than adding on to the problem. And of course, uh, let's keep praying for the frontliners na marami nang dalabuis ng buhay at uh, patuloy na in the line of duty ika nga para sa ating lahat. And of course, uh, dun sa mga lahat ng mga sububaybay, ng mga sports fans, uh, generation na namin noon, please keep on supporting this new uh, generation of uh, for heroes not just of course in basketball but even in other sports because they they really would like uh, they really would like of course not not it's not attention but they really would like to play for all of you dahil yan naman din yung essence ng paglalaro ng kahit anong sport which is to play for for people diba not to be admired but to show what you have and of course to show your competitive nature and of course i would like to thank the three of you Uh, of course, it's a lot of invite sa akin. I like your uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Authority, uh, never had the chance to work with you again, but I always follow your, your career as well, doing well. And uh, to Noel, who's also been a mentor of uh, mine sa, sa volleyball, who's been around the longest time as a broadcaster, as a kuya to volleyball players. So what you are doing, it has inspired, of course, a lot of people. No, Wala tayong sports in the horizon, but You gave us the connections uh, sa mga tao who is in, the, uh, in a different world. No? So maraming salamat sa inyo, sa oras. At uh, alam ko, <coughs> pinlansya niyo pa yung mga uniform niyong yan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you will all stay safe and I pray for all of you that uh, the new normal will be a better world for all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Coach Ronnie. Uh, thank you. Uh, so lang, lang, ano, yeah. uh, we you. really appreciated uh, you taking out the time to share your experiences and memories yeah. uh, with us and with all of the people listening. Ako ng empanada. Casa <laughs> <laughs> <Kasa-tasa>, ha? <laughs> so, <laughs> plugging, <yeah>, plugging. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And with that, thank you rin, Coach Rani. With that, we end another episode of An Eternity of Basketball. Uh, we uh, Continue following us on Facebook uh, for more announcements and who, on who will guest uh, on our show next. Uh, for Noel Zarate, Charlie Kuna, City Ventura, signing off. Uh, everybody, stay safe and uh, stay dry. Kasi tabulan na. Bye, guys. Okay, coach. Bye, coach. Yeah.